Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. Uh, thank you for your kind wishes. My health continues to improve. And uh, that's nice because today we are going to be celebrating a wedding that is coming off in a couple of months' time. So um, Andy Pip 88 wrote to us. He's been constructing some Sudokus for friends and family lately after finding the channel and becoming a Patreon. And uh, that is not an unusual course in some ways, but uh, he quite likes this one, which is to celebrate friends of his who are getting married on the 27th of February next year. And their initials are WL and SP. And you can see how he has baked all of this into this Sudoku. So we have the letters WL, SP in the grid. We have the date of the wedding in lines, 2-27-22. We have it in um, little killer clues outside the grid, 2-27-22, and we have it in cages within the grid. So he's really gone to town on this. That's a lovely idea. Um, I don't know how many happy couples are desperate for a Sudoku to mark their day, but let's hope either WL or SP or both of them are amongst them and uh, will enjoy this. But certainly I'm keen to give it a go. Do check out Patreon. It's a great place, as Andy's found. Uh, we've got the current um, Sudoku hunt there, the Mexican standoff, and uh, that's going very well. Lots of good answers into that and compliments for the puzzles from the various setters who unwittingly contributed. Um, also, of course, you can get our apps uh, in time for Christmas and so on, and our merchandise, all on links under the video, along with the Discord server, Sven Sudoku pad, etc. But um, let's just run through the rules of the puzzle then. So normal Sudoku rules apply. Cages show their sums, so these four digits add up to 27. A clue outside the grid shows the sum of the indicated diagonal, which can include repeated digits. So these cells add up to 22, um, and they can include a repeat, or two, um, all line, or three in that case, just checking. All lines in the grid are thermos with bulbs to be determined, which increase from one end of the line to the other. So we don't know which way round they go, but... You kind of have, if you're used to our thermo stoke, you can imagine a bulb being at either one end or the other of a line. And then the numbers, if the this was the low end, the numbers must increase as you go along the line. Or if you'll start from that end, they must increase as you go along that way. So really interesting rule set. And uh, do give it a try on the link under the video. I'm going to start now. Let's get cracking. And... Well, we get a single cell cage. Actually, we get a single cell little killer, so we can put twos in both of those places. Now, this is a useful cage from the point of view of it determines where the bulb is on this W thermometer. So this is clearly the low end. That gives me a chance to uh, good lift or pencil mark the rest of the thermo because it must keep ascending up to here. I don't quite know what else that's telling me. In this 27 cage, ah, can these be low digits in their thermo? Actually, just about. That could be, say, 5 and 6, ascending to 7 or 8 and 8 or 9. And then that could be a 7... And you could get a nine in there and it would just work, but it's a real stretch. Almost certainly this one goes that way round with the low number here, but I can't prove that yet. So 22 in six cells. Ah, that has to be one, two, three, four, five, seven. 21 is the minimum in six cells, and that's always one, two, three, four, five, six. And if you're just going to add one number onto that, well, you have to have one, two, three, four, five, seven. So these are the numbers in the row, a six, eight, and nine. Now this, they can't be low numbers on this. So it ascends from the top end of the S. Uh, this is less than eight. So seven, six, five, or four, six, five, four, or three, five, four, or three. Can't be a two there because of this two. So that's not a three and that's not a four. So we're 
Ah, and that's given us a 345 triple in column one, which is very handy to spot. So that makes this a six, which finishes off the rest of that S thermo, six, seven, eight, nine at the top end. That makes this a six. Now I still don't know which way this thermo goes because that could be the seven and it could start down here. But alternatively, that's one of the other numbers and then we go seven or eight, eight or nine. So that's not resolved. Um, three, four, five, triple. So this is a naked single one. If you look at the three, four, five, triple that it sees in the column, along with two, six and nine and seven, eight in the box, this cell, the only remaining Sudoku digit, is a 1. Ah, oh, now, 8's quite a big number. 27 is a very small number for this diagonal. That means that these groups of 3 cells average 9, which is low. I mean, there are only 4 ways of making up 9 in 3 different cells, and they all obviously have to be different in each box. And now we've thrown this 8 into the mix. What is the absolute minimum of this? 1, 8, 2 is 11. Then 1, 2, 3 there in some order takes us to 17. 1, 2, 3 here takes us to 23. Mm, okay, there are still 4 degrees of freedom there, but... Ah... So there are four degrees of freedom. This group of cells has to be at a minimum one, two, three. So the most that could be is three at that minimum. Now there are four degrees of freedom, so you can add four to the three, and the maximum number that can go in here is a seven. But I think we worked out that for these to be the low end of this thermometer, that would have to be a nine. So I think that means we know the bulbs here, but that might be a little convoluted. So let's let's do something else first. Let's take one and seven. Ah, we take one and seven out of this thermo cell here. And now this can't be the high end because it's it would be the sixth cell in that on that thermo. So this is the low end here. Therefore it is could be a three, but it can't be a four. So we can pencil mark the rest of this thermo, which is actually longer than I realized. For some reason, I thought this was a six cell thermo, and I can see it's a seven. Now, six and seven, looking at that cell, that's an eight. Nine there. We've got two, three, four, and five. Ah, so this is a two, three, four, five triple. We know from the box that this is two, three, four, or five. So that's a triple. Hmm, okay, so I'm sorry, it's a quadruple looking in the column. I thought that would help me up here. It doesn't much. Um, okay, sorry about that. Seven, six, I'm not sure what's going on there. We've got eight and seven. Aha, still to complete in column one. That gives us a seven, eight pair in box one. This becomes a nine as a result of that. Nice. Um, now that's not minimum anymore, is it? If this was one, two, three, and that's at least a five, that's taken away two of the degrees of freedom. So everything else, those are one or two plus a maximum two degrees of freedom. Oh, we've lost a degree of freedom here because that was going to be a two. So actually there's very few degrees of freedom along here now. I think there's one left. So the minimum up here, 1, 8, 3 is 12, 5 there is 17, a 1, 2 takes us to 20, and 1, 2, 3 takes us to 26. Yeah, there's one degree of freedom. Now that's quite interesting. It means this can't be a 4, because that would take away a degree of freedom there, and also one here because of the thermo, which would make that a 6. So that is definitely a 3. We, we keep the degree of freedom along these cells, though. But that means we take two out of those. Um, four, five pairs still going there. This is a one or a six, because it sees a seven, eight pair, as well as that four, five pair, and the two, three, and the nine. 
Yeah, interesting. We haven't quite got this all resolved yet. Now, I'm going to have a quick look at this 22 diagonal. The maximums here look more interesting. 8, 12, 15, no, 22, and then that could be a 6 as well. There's still 6 degrees of freedom from the maximum there. And the minimum's way under 22, so that's not the most helpful thing. Um, yeah, I don't know quite what's going on there yet. If that was a five, that would be a five. That would be a five. No, that's not getting anything done. Maybe I need to think about this. Ah, the 27 cage has got a maximum three there. Oh, well, that's immense. That's the minimum for the cage to exist in one of its cells. So three there. The others must be nine, eight, seven. Oh, that's huge. Yeah. Okay, we're away now. So that three also took the last degree of freedom on this diagonal. So they can't have a four. They are a one, three pair. We'll have to resolve those later. This is now the minimum five. So let's just check the maths here. Nine, 12, 17, 18, 21, 23, and one and three is 27. Yes. So that four is now fixed. This is now a three. By the thermo rule, that makes that a two or a one. It's fixed this as four, five, six. That makes that a one. We've got a three, five pair up there. Four, five's resolved. That's become an eight. Six goes here. That's one or two, and we know where nine is in box four. Wow, okay, so we've blown it wide open to some extent now. Let's see if we can keep going. This hasn't completely exploded, has it? Let's still look at the maximum, though. 11 there plus 2 there is 13 plus 7 there. No, that hasn't resolved. Ah, this thermo, well, we know which way round it goes, but not very helpfully. This can't be 9, 8, 5, 6, or 4. So it's 7, 3, or 2. But this cell has quite a few possibilities. And the three, five, eight, six in this central box is in one of those two cells. Um, okay, we're certainly not done here. One, two, four, five. So I don't think I can really determine what's going on with these. Ah, that's quite a lot of low digits here. So if these were lower than six, they would have to be the other two from one, two, three, four, five. That's not going to work. We have to fit eight and nine, there we go, into these two cells because of the nine, eight pairs we have in rows seven and eight. So one of these is eight or nine, and now we know which way round this goes. All that unfortunately tells us is that that's not a seven. Seven or eight there, eight or nine there. If that's not an eight, this would also have to be eight or nine. But that's not finishing anything off. Um, oh, since this can't be eight or nine, it is two, three, six or seven, right. 13, 16, 18, 26. So again, the degrees of freedom are, are waning, but they're still there. That one can't be two or six. That's just a one or a four. Um, eight, nine, three, one, five, six. These are from two, four, and seven. It's interesting. It's certainly not giving up the fight, this puzzle. We've got a nine in one of those two cells. We've got... Should I be able to tell which way around this goes? One, four, five. That can't be one, four, five, eight, nine, or three. That's two, six, or seven. Well, it can't be two because that would require a one here. And there's a one there. So that is six or seven, which is interesting. Now, those two can't both be higher than six or seven. So the bulb is here. 
so they can't have a 7 either. So now 7 is confined into one of these two cells in the row, and that means this is a 6 in the box, which is quite neat. That can't be 6 or 7 either, so it's definitely 2 or 3. This thermo is going to, uh, sorry, the little killer is going to be interesting. Um, the maximum now is 8, 10, 13, 20, 23. So there's only one degree of freedom. So 7 could only come down to 6, which is not possible. That is a 7. One of these is not quite maximum. But I don't know which one yet. So let's get rid of some 7 pencil marks. Now this has to be higher than 6. So it is a 7, 8, 9 triple here. That's 2 or 3. So none of these can be 2 or 3. So 1, 4, 5, triple. This is second on the thermo. It can't be one. Hmm, I don't quite know how these work yet. Three is in one of these cells. That's not very powerful. I haven't worked out this. What about these two then? One of them is, what have we got? 18. They add up to four. So it's either a two, two pair or a one and a three. Oh, that's not a one, is it, from just ordinary Sudoku? Um, that doesn't really change anything. This isn't a seven now, though, and that's not a seven. Ah, if that's three or two, this is two or one, and it can't be two, so that's a one. That fixes the three one pair here. This three is clearly the bulb of its thermo. So four, five, or seven. This isn't... Five or seven there, can't be a six. Seven or nine there, this can't be a seven. So those are really quite restricted now. Um, that's a one, four, five triple in the final column, unexpectedly. The three in the final column is gonna have to be here. That gives us a three there. That makes that a one on the bulb of this thermo down here. That's really neat. I like the way that this bounces around back and forth. Um, one and, yeah, that can't be a one. Sorry, that's obvious. Six, what else did I have? I had that one, four, five in the final column. So that is seven, eight or nine. These are from two, four, five and seven. Well, oh no, this, this is a shorter thermo, this, seven shape thermo so no much harder to tell which way round it goes so these two not sure either eight nine three one five oh six can't be there now so this has become six in the central that is two or seven if it was a two that would have to be a one so it's not a two it's a seven Right, so that's a two, four pair. These are five and seven. We know which way around this thermo goes and it needs a one or a two on its bulb at the bottom. This goes higher, so that's five. This is eight or nine, as is the cell at the end of the row. Yeah, that's good. That has made this an eight, nine and seven are fixed there. The nine fixes the triple in the final column, which also resolves that thermo at the top. That becomes an eight, we get a nine there. Nine in column eight has to be here. Nine in column six we can do as well as a result of that. We've got a two, three pair in this row. We fix this five, three. Eight, six and seven in row two can be written in. I think we're getting there now. 298, we've got six and a five, four pair at the top. Right, that's become a far four because of the five in the column. Now, yeah, that's two, one, five. They can go in. That's a two. One, four, six here must be doable. One, six, four. There we go. Just a few pairs left in the central columns in a moment. Oh, we've got a two, three, X. Oh, of course, this 22 diagonal will resolve it all. 
Oh, I forgot that actually. Let me just do 5, 4 first and 2, 4 in the middle. Now the 22 diagonal, 8, 11, 12, 19, and a 3 there does it. And that's really nice. Every clue has come into play in the puzzle. And it's a really neat finish. That's excellent from Andy. Pip88 there. Thank you so much for sending that. Congratulations to your friends WL and SP. We here at Kraken and Cryptic really hope the wedding goes off brilliantly. I'm sure it will. And uh, it has its own special Sudoku and video to boot. So thank you very much, as always, for watching us here at Kraken and Cryptic. And hope to see you again tomorrow. Bye for now.